Hello everybody, my name is Biki here and welcome back to Cryptocurrency Academy. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the blockchain or database, private or public. The blockchain technology is an advanced database. What are the benefits or the disadvantages of using a public versus a private blockchain? Let's get started. So before we get started guys, I just want to say that um, in this talk we are going to take a look at the blockchains and the blockchains are usual build from three types of technology and that is to protect your identity, system of record and as a platform. So but before we get started, I just want to say that um, if you're not one of my subscribers, please do that and uh, please hit the bell button so you can get notifications when I'm adding new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me start by explaining you what a database is. Well, a database is an organized collection of data. We use it to store information and view the information. And this way, the whole information need to be secure. So only the people who has access to the information can access it. So let me say that you have Wikipedia on this server here and you want to access information to the server. You have to send a request to the server and the, the server have to find the information you're looking in, uh, for uh, in database and have to send it back to the client. You are the client here, the server is Wikipedia and the information on the database is the information. Uh, this way we know that only Wikipedia um, have the right to change the information on the server here and they can do that because they have of course the right to do so and uh, to protect the information that they have so no one can go and do anything about it but this is a lot of power and a lot of rights it means they can change the whole information uh, in the way they want of course you and i can to choose to believe in that information that is published on wikipedia or not but let's look into what a blockchain would look like a blockchain database well, a blockchain database, with a blockchain, the whole information is distribu distributed on many computers uh, of lat laptops and computers. And the same database, the same information will be on the same old computers all over the world. And if I want to access the same information, I just need to access the, the information which is stored on the blockchain. And in that way, uh, only um, only the blockchain because in this way I can trust the blockchain because all information are not only in one place but they are distributed in so many places that uh, it will make it uh, it will be hard for anyone to change this type of information that's why we can take use of uh, um, blockchain so let me say that let's take an example over here we you have a Tesla and um, your Tesla crashes. Well, you can ask. We can ask Tesla what happened before the crashes, and Tesla will tell us that the crash, uh, the car was on autopilot, and uh, it tried to warn the users to take. Uh, to put his hands on the steering wheels so but the, the user didn't listen we can try in, the, in, in this way to um, to trust Tesla but it can be hard for us to do so because we cannot see into Tesla's database and really can we trust this information because the same the information can be manipulated when we have only one administrator instead of everyone being administrator so Blockchain have made it easy for one internet user to transfer a unique piece of digital property to another internet user in such a way that the transfer is guaranteed to be safe and secure. Everyone knows that the uh, transaction has taken place and nobody can challenge the legitimacy of the transfer. This, in this way, you know that the, you, can, you don't have to trust the other person, you can trust the blockchain itself. At the beginning of this video, I said that a blockchain is made for three types of technology. And the first one was identity. In identity, we will have in blockchains uh, like um, private key, which will protect you. Nobody will know uh, who you are and they don't need to know who you are because the information, however, you just need to trust the blockchain. And two, the um, blockchain is made to uh, peer-to-peer uh, network so the all the record will be there everyone can go and browse through the record in such a way that 
it just be it will be hard to anybody to change the information because then they have to change the previously information and so on and so on um, until the beginning of the tree if you can think it uh, in that way and third it was a platform well we have a uh, cryptocurrency but we, we can build so much more like contracts and and, and uh, insurance and we can do uh, we can build all types of programs on top of the blockchain so the idea can be applied to any need for trustworthy system of record so if you want to build application that you know your user need to trust that information you have to make that the information that it's secure indeed and the system it has to be kind of system of record everyone we have to go back in history and see what happened the the last transaction before we got here so in this way anyone will be able to trust you but thanks for watching guys if you have any comments you can just comment that in this um, comment section below and I'll get back to you thanks for watching and peace